Well, hey, yes, today we're looking at the adding and subtracting polynomials and polynomial expressions. It's a very easy, common thing. All we do is look at the two polynomials that we have here in parentheses, and you see between them a plus sign, or they'll be telling you in directions, add these polynomials together, so you'd put a plus sign in between them. All you do is add common terms, things that are terms that are like x to the third things we're going to add to the x to the third, x to the second terms in the polynomials we're going to find its like term x to the second and add those together using our adding rule. So again this is very simple we have 1x to the third and 2x to the third we add those together we get 3x to the third. I suggest that we mark those out as we go. Okay? And now I look for it and I'm going to write them in descending order. So the first thing I look for again is the highest degree polynomial. In this case it's x to the third power. I find anything common. Well here I've got x squared negative 5 of them. There I've got x squared 6 of them. When I use the adding rule the signs are different so I've got to subtract cube sign of the large one. I end up with positive 1 of those x squareds. Mark them out when I get done with them so I know in the long string where I'm at, where I've done, what I still need to do. I look for the next degree term and that's x to the uh, first power. I have three of them. I don't have any over there at all so there's nothing to add so that doesn't change at all but I mark it out as I take care of it. Now the next thing I look for is the constant terms negative 9 and 11. The signs again are different so I subtract 11 and negative 9 or negative 9 and then keep the sign of positive 11 because it's bigger. So that's it. Any more like terms? Nope. That's it. That's all. You, that's how you add. The second lesson is how you, what do you do if you're asked to subtract. The lesson with subtraction has been the same lesson that we learned back in pre-algebra. Subtracting numbers is the same thing as adding opposites. So in the, in the polynomial that I'm subtracting, I'm just going to change all the signs of the terms and then treat it like an addition problem. So I'm going to take plus and then change all the signs of everything. Everything was over there positive, so now everything over there is negative. And now I just do the same thing. If it was an addition problem and I've already got the lesson for that, I just collect like terms and add those things together using the adding rule. Positive 2, negative 1. Marking out as I go. Negative 5 and negative 6, signs are the same, so I add and stay. I still only have one x thing, so I add nothing to it. And then I have negative 9 and negative 11. There's the subtraction of those two polynomials. Simple lessons. Let's go practice. We are the Ask Academy.